The nice thing I like about sculpture is that when you feel you've put too much into it, sometimes I'll wipe a head completely out. Or I've done pieces of sculpture where I get out, like if they're done in wax, I get out my blowtorch, and I may blowtorch off half the piece and start all over. If I need to correct, like I did one piece where I was just correcting one of the back legs, well, I know artists that'll just say, oh, well, I'll just tweak it here, maybe at the hock or at the pastern. No, I don't do it that way. I blow torch the whole thing off and take my armature all the way back to the spinal column, make my correction there, and then have it work all the way back down to the pastern because it all has to work together. It doesn't just work in one spot. You have to always use your enough of what I call your artistic intelligence to say, well, all right, here's a weak spot in the piece, but does it kill the integrity of the whole piece? Well, if it doesn't, then be smart enough to leave the darn thing alone because maybe it works from 80 other angles that are just right. But for the most part, you know, at least you get some of the uh, lemons out of the piece, you know, the glitches that just would, would bother you. Because i am been at this long enough where I've done pieces in the past. And this is true of any occupation that anybody ever does. You'll see pieces, you go, oh, why didn't I see that? Well, you didn't see it because you weren't developed to that point. You can only do the best you can at the time, and then that's when you sign it.